is Green Spirit back with another practical magical craft that you can use in your practice. Today what we'll be making is herbal salt and this salt you can use for protection to remove negativity or negative energies, curse breaking toward yourself and property. Um, it can also be used for healing at, in, with a bath. Um, this is particularly good um, if you feel like you're being attacked by like psychic vampires. You can use this salt in a bath. Uh, what the herbs we will be using um, and purification. I'm not sure if I said that as well. The herbs that we will be using today have similar properties. Um, almost all of them have exactly the same properties, but I feel like they have different levels of potency. Um, the herbs that I have here today is basil, rosemary, so I'll show you basil, rosemary, and then I have rue here in my um, mortar and pestle. Uh, I'm Hispanic and one of the things that if you ever go to a curandera or a witch um, and you feel like you want to them to cleanse you, um, traditionally these, these herbs are used in fresh form and then the curandera would sweep them uh, over your body while saying prayers or spells to remove the negativity but I have them in dry form so we're just adding to that of course we also have um, salt which again has very similar similar properties to the herbs themselves you know protection cleansing um, warding um, exorcism everything else so Every herb builds upon each other. Now, I have a large amount of herb here today because I have a larger jar and I'm not even filling up this jar. Isn't this cute? I found this at uh, Big Lots and they had these owl canisters and I thought, oh my gosh, I need one of those. But you don't necessarily need to use this much herb product. Um, although you can actually do this relatively cheaply if you grow it, okay, great. You'll probably, you know, if you already grow rosemary, basil, the rue, I don't know. A lot of Hispanic households grow rue for its properties. Um, but if you don't have rue, you can also um, order it online. Um, the reason I'm using, like I said, this much product is because I have a larger jar and I'm not even filling up this jar anyways. The, the other thing that we're using is also citrine chips. You can also um, just use one big chunk of citrine. Um, right now I, I have citrine but I don't necessarily want to put it in here. So I have chips and that's what I will be incorporating. Um, as I was saying, you can actually do this rather inexpensively. A lot of these herbs you can actually pick up at places like the dollar store. If you want, you can, um, like I, I could, you can get, or, or even Big Lots have herbs, Walmart, um, inexpensive, like one little jar um, that's almost, I believe, like one ounce of herb is around a dollar. So you can do this relatively inexpensive if you do want to use the large amounts. Um, I have here one full container of one of those herb canisters um, which equals to about one cup and then the roux that I have is going to equal out to about a quarter cup of roux. This roux I planted myself. I no longer live at the house I planted it in. Uh, I have since moved but I had planted rue in my garden and this was all that I had left. It equals out to about a quarter cup. So right now I have one cup or one full container of basil, one full container of um, rosemary, and about a quarter cup of rue. If you do not want to use this much, you don't have to. Uh, you can use at least half a cup of dried basil half a cup of rosemary and you do need about a quarter cup of rue. As far as the salt, I have two cups here. 
Uh, again, you can make smaller quantities. If you're going to do half of this, um, you will use one cup of salt. Again, you can even get sea salt at the dollar store. So this can actually be a really inexpensive uh, product to use. And then the citrine, uh, you could get it at places like Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Renaissance Fairs, uh, online just the chips and the chips tend to be um, inexpensive as well so basically what we'll be doing is we will be combining um, these three products to create this herbal salt and then like I said you can then use it once it's combined in baths you can use it in sachets you can use it uh, to put at the four corners of your property or in a circle around your property. Um, you can, um, if you make large quantities like this, you can set items inside of it and that will cleanse your items um, from negativity. Uh, you can uh, uh, essentially just use it for a lot of uh, different purification removing negativity, um, that kind of a thing, and protection. Another thing this is good for is um, rue traditionally is used to ward off the evil eye, which if you ever have read anything about the evil eye, the evil eye is essentially envy. Um, a lot of times um, people can become, even subconsciously, I don't think they do it consciously, they can be envious of something that you possess, and that is what the evil eye is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and pause the video. All I am going to be doing is I'm going to be um, infusing with my intent um, these herbs with my own words of power, essentially activating them all I am saying is a, a charm or a chant um, just asking the earth to come alive to instill its natural properties and to um, the intent that I want this for for each of my herbs and then what I will do is I will um, um, go ahead and grind my roux and then we will go ahead and put it into the salt so I'll be back in just a minute. Thanks. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I did forget to mention that with rue, um, another property of it is to break any hexes or curses against you. If I didn't say that before, I did want to put that out now. So I went ahead and charged each item. Um, each herb with my intent. I will wait on the citrine because I have chips and I'll hold them in my hand and say something in my head and then we'll pour them in. So really quickly here, I'm going to go ahead and crush up. Oops, went crazy. And I have some stalks in here. Like I said, this is the last of my rue from my own garden back at my old home. Um, I have been living in the apartment for a few months now and obviously it's been winter so I haven't been able to um, really plant anything yet and maybe I'll be able to plant a few potted plants but I will definitely be missing not being able to plant uh, my own herbs. A funny thing, that is not rude, that is a tall piece of grass. Um, funny thing about the rosemary is that I have, um, at my previous apartment before I bought my house, I had planted, I was able to put it like a raised bed garden, and I had planted rosemary and it really really took well shortly after I planted the rosemary I moved out of that apartment so it was left behind last year and I have been living at my house for a good five years and last year um, I finally decided to plant rosemary again I don't know why it took so long to be honest with you but I did take like five years to plant it and I planted it, it did really well, and then guess what? I left the property, I moved on. <laughs> so 
So I'm almost like thinking, I don't know what that means, but it seems like wherever I plant it, I don't stay long. So I don't know if that's, you know, something to think about. I don't know, but it's just a funny quinky dink, I guess. Okay, this is getting major things are breaking. Some stalks are in there. I'm going to remove the, the harder woodier parts. Um, if you do not have um, a mortar and um, pestle, you can use a coffee grinder. Um, is a good option. I'm not going to do too much to it. I'm not going to turn it into a powder. That's really not all that necessary. But I did want to break up some of the bigger chunks. And I do want to say and encourage you that if you have a uh, mortar, or I'm sorry, if if you have a mortar and, and pestle, make sure if you're going to use it for craft work, only use it for craft work. Do not use it like for your food because a lot of herbs uh, cannot be consumed internally. Um, Rue you can, but only in small quantities. And um, always do your research. Uh, if you do not know if a plant can be ingested, uh, make sure that you do your research. Even if somebody tells you um, to use it, even if you read it somewhere, make sure you do your own research. Because sometimes even the own practitioner doesn't know that maybe it can't be ingested or applied to the skin or bathed in or used by pregnant women and, and or lactating women in any manner. So make sure that you do your own research. You know, if you're watching a video or something, make sure that you um, take the time to look at the ingredients and do your research and make sure that you can actually do, um, that it is a safe herb to either consume, apply topically, uh, bathe in, or um, be used by pregnant and lactating women. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, so all we're doing, all I'm doing now is I'm pouring it the roux. And I say now, roux, you are now activated. Okay. Yeah, that turned out to be about maybe a quarter cup, maybe a little more. Again, you need at least a quarter cup of roux. I have a cup of basil. You need at least half a cup of basil. Okay, I say, Basil, you are activated. Okay, again, I have a cup of rosemary. You can use half a cup of rosemary. And I say, Rosemary, you are activated. Oh my gosh, guys, in here, smells amazing. Now, when I was first, I've been practicing for a very long time. And when I first started, I came up with this little jingle when I made my own mortar and pestle in ceramics class <laughs> and I put it around my mortar and pestle and actually I don't have my original mortar and pestle anymore I think I've moved this is the seventh state I've lived in guys and I think in all the moving got lost or broken or something because I no longer have it and I kind of wish I did I have a bast that I made um, from then and now my son has it in his room when I was in high school uh, which is kind of cool but anyways so now I'm going to say a little chant that I've always say when I'm incorporating herbs together I say urban magic blend and mix may all good come from this urban magic blend and mix may all good come from this urban magic blend and mix may all good come from this now I'm going to go ahead and add my citrine and you don't need a lot and what the citrine is for is that it keeps things fresh um, and active um, I only I have a, a tiny little bit of, of chips like I said if you have a smaller or a bigger stone you can also just plop it in there but I have a couple so I'm gonna hold it Basically, all I said in my own words, in my mind, was, you know, please activate citrine um, and keep my 
my herbal mixture fresh and charged. Okay, so you can continue to mix it with your hands and if you can see how absolutely gorgeous this looks. It looks amazing. I mean, and it smells even more amazing. Okay, can I just say that? <laughs> it smells absolutely incredible. Like I said, I made a very large quantity because I figured might as well just make a lot. All right, I think that's pretty well incorporated. Um, the salt that you can use, um, I'm using kosher salt, but that's because that's what they like I had on hand. Um, you can also use sea salt, you can use Himalayan salt, you can use Celtic sea salt, um, you can use regular table salt. Like I said, if you get all your ingredients, say like at a dollar store, you get your rosemary, your basil, and your salt, with the exception of the root and the citrine, you're looking at maybe $3 for those three items and then just a couple dollars more for the rest of it. Um, so it's a very inexpensive and powerful salt to use. Okay, that's pretty good. So now, as you can see, I'm gonna put it close. Isn't that beautiful? It's so beautiful, and like I said, it just smells. Oh, it smells so good, it's scary. I'm gonna use one of my little bowls. Uh, and pour it in. And luckily, this is a wide mouth jar. If you don't have a wide mouth jar, uh, you can also use the funnel. I'm just like a bit uncoordinated and if I know that if I try to you know pour it in with large amounts in it I'm gonna end up spilling it all over the counter because <laughs> I'm just that coordinated and I'm just a little accident prone okay I think that's good all right And, I mean, like I said, I made a whole lot. If I had put a little bit more salt in it, I mean, I would have filled up this owl. But it's okay. I don't need, uh, let's see how many ounces this is. It doesn't say, but it's a large amount. This will last me a very, very long time. You do want to make sure you get a jar that has a seal on it to keep it fresh. You know, you can also use a mason jar. Um, or even, uh, you want to get, like, you can wash out uh, pasta sauce. Um, I've used the, what is that brand? There's a brand of pasta sauce that I really like and they it's really pretty and I used to save the jars because they have like little tomatoes on them. Um, obviously when I moved I had to get rid of a lot of stuff including my tomato jars. Um, you just wanna make sure that you get a jar that has a tight fitting lid so that it keeps fresh. But there you go. There you are, guys. This is an herbal salt for protection, uh, negativity, or removing negativity, um, exorcism, uh, protect against the evil eye, break hexes and curses, uh, purification. Um, this is also good for mental powers. Uh, so yeah, it is done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. And if you really enjoyed this video, you can hit the subscribe button for more future videos and crafts from me. So thank you for watching. You guys have a wonderful day and blessed be.